Star Thriver 07 coming at you today with another quick review. As I was, you know, scanning the shelves looking for anything brand new, I actually walked by a few of these figures at uh, Target. And this is the XL15 from the Lightyear movie by Disney Pixar. They just released a new trailer this week and I saw some of these ships. And then it's what caught my eye. I was like, okay, so these are going to be like, you know, $15 or more. And this was done by Mattel versus Hasbro, and they're eleven dollars, and it's like a deluxe class size, you know, transformer, but it doesn't transform at all. It has a little diclone esque figurine inside the cockpit, it has four points of articulation. The cockpit does open, even though it's a little tough, without fingernails to open that cockpit, which is a nice thing because it'll open up so far and let you get that in and out, but. And it's a nicely detailed figurine, but uh, the real real star of this is what caught my eye is the craft itself. Not only does this craft, you know, look pretty immaculate from what I could see in the trailer, he also has retractable landing gear, and that's just a plus for any of these little ships like this that collectors want to display. They can display it with their landing gear, or you can get some flight stands. And put it up on a flight. The strange is, it didn't come with a flight stand unless it comes with the flight stands come with another figure in a wave. Which uh, there's three other ships in the wave. I want to point out to you on the back of the box here. It's the Disney's Pixar Lightyear XL15 with Buzz Lightyear, and each of the ships come with a little figurine. Like it reminds me, like I said, very die clone size and whatnot. You have retractable landing gear, as you can see right there. Here is the scan if you want to scan to, to hunt for yourself. Front of the box is all not uh, environmental friendly, sturdy plastic on a very hard card. I had a little trouble getting it open. Finally found a little weak spot and got it open. Figuring goes there, ship goes there. It's a very eye striking packaging. I just couldn't wait to get it open it's with my excitement for the Lightyear movie. And so I gotta say, it's a really nicely sculpted, detailed ship. This thing has the little Star Command emblems there on the, the wings there. I love the paintwork used. You just come back to the back of the craft. It, it's just really sleek looking. It looks like one of the Air Raiders. I'm gonna try to find a picture and put a picture of the Air Raider right here. Uh, um, I just love the swept wing, reverse wing look. And it's at an angle down. It also reminds me of Depth Charge from uh, my timelines line. I've misplaced my Depth Charge timelines, but the one it's based off of, I have Teradoff from the Hunt of the Decepticons. Just wanted to show you the swept wing with the back fins there. The only thing it's a little extra is these guys. I think this is actually based off of a MiG-27 Russian fighter jet. But as you can see, they got the thrusters and boom. and the fact that I've got a swept wing that transforms, that I really do love that. I'd like to see like Legacy go back through and give it all the company and other articulation that that one doesn't have. But this is a really unique transformation. This is not a transformer, but I'm just, I'm always a sucker for the swept wing as well as trying to go out there. And uh, just got to say, it's really, really, really nice. All right, one moment, please. Here's a top-down view of the craft. I don't have a flight stand. These are soft plastic out here on the ends. But, I mean, it's just super really cool. Here's the aft. The port side of the craft. Forward view. And starboard sides. I'm going to give you some final thoughts because, like I said, this thing doesn't transform. But I love that this has retractable landing gear that you can display with without a display base. It doesn't have a display base again, but very, very nicely detailed, very nicely painted. No paint splatters, very clean for an $11 price point. It's a really good example that Mattel has put up here of how to do it and have a fun, swooshable jet spacecraft from the new Lightyear movie. Uh, this is just top notch. Some final thoughts here. Thanks again for watching. For a figure that has four points of articulation and its die clone size can fit in the cockpit that opens and shuts the retractable landing gear. The nicely detailed paint, 
the sculpt is great on it. it kind of gets washed out. Some of the details get washed out with the, the, the white color. This is a really cool Star Command ship, and I can't wait to see this on screen. This is marketed, targeted for a younger uh, crowd, but for even for a collector, this is perfect. Uh, the reason why I say it's not for the younger kids is because this is a very, very tiny figure and is easily poppable into the mouth. So I would not, if you get this for your kids, I would not, you know, do that for a collector. You can do it like this and get some flight stand. You can do the different things and it's got the landing gear. So it, it looks really, really nice. Highly recommend this uh, XL15 from the Lightyear movie coming up. That comes out a little bit later here. And with it being all the stuff getting on the shelves, I say we're less than eight weeks away from the release of that movie. There's a lot of really awesome movies coming out. I'm really excited for this and Top Gun and Jurassic World Dominion. And next weekend, I do believe uh, we have Multiverse of Madness coming. So. Get out there, watch your movies, support them. They they filmed and made all this stuff during the pandemic. It's time to get back out there and uh, watch some movies. Enjoy the new stuff when you go to the store and find it. So, oh, wow, boom, it's there. Uh, thanks again for watching. You guys have an excellent week out there. To infinity and beyond, guys.